Greetings, dear, precious, magnificent spirit soul. I know you have a name, a vibration, a sound that is used. But you know we're not that sound vibration. Mm -mm, we're not. We emanate that. We, we generate that. Because that's who we are. My topic. What we all have in common. What we all have in common. Two things. First of all, who we are. The other is who we think we are. We have our natural state of who we are. And now we have the false overlay, the identities, the IDs, the identities, the characteristics, the um, script, the roles we're playing, the characters we are, the games, we, all of that kind of a thing. And everybody has a mind. So everyone is who they are, and they also have an attachment to that. To change that. To make it different. Oh, interesting. Because you can, you, you can notice this. You can notice that. You notice yourself, too, how you are when you're in the flow. Like I was noticing, <clears throat> oh, I had a uh, boyfriend years ago, Mike Doyle. He was really sweet. He was a world champion, surfer champion guy. He was really good. Learned a lot of artistic things from me. He was very artistic, really cool. Um, <clears throat> he took me surfing. So, but I got on the board, I could like lay down on it, and he stood up and surfed. I got two looped. So I went through, it's this thing, like the wave goes like this, but the energy in here is, wow! It's like in tennis, I used to love to play tennis, when you actually, the ball goes in the right, in the center sweet spot, and it's like, whoa! It's like, whether it's any sport or, that time, a time many years ago, and I was uh, singing, taking lessons from the maestro David Kyle up in Seattle, and and in opera and such. And my voice had opened, and I was singing. And I love Puccini arias. That's really I didn't really want to be an actress and, uh, and sing opera on the stage because you have to do those, you know, those tragic stories and the same old scripts over and over again. It's very very boring to have to do that and emotionalize all that and bring that in when it's like I don't want that so I don't want that kind of a life but I did love the the music for a soprano I'm a lyric soprano of of, of uh, Puccini and and how he loved the soprano it was one night and I had been really been practicing for quite a while and I was in my place in Washington and uh singing and my whole head opened like it, it was it, and I'd been in the Taj Mahal before, so it was like it was like my 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 dome, my crown, had opened as a cathedral. <laughs> now, never before or after did that has or so far has that happened, and also now noticing that as I'm getting more, instead of so much playing the piano, I'm working to play the piano more, uh, because I do have my piano tuned to 432, but to more sing, because, and then the singing, it's not that I like the words of some of the old songs, so this, because you don't want to be singing those miserable words, you want to be using your voice as a healing instrument. And remember, there was the Rife machines and all the vibrational healing, the tuning of energy centers and such. And the 432 is supposedly the pineal, the, uh, which is key in allowing um, ourselves to receive uh, probably special vibrations or say, I don't know, you know, people write about it and this one says that and that one says that and that one says that and that one says that. So I'm never really good at just going to rattle off all that kind of stuff because I grok stuff I, and you know what grok means 
If you don't, read Stranger in a Strange Land. I remember that was pretty cool. I never finished the book because I get bored with it after a while, so I didn't finish it. I could, I, when I used to go to movies, I just get right up and leave because who cares? I don't care about the end. But if it, if it was good, maybe I would stay. But anyway, so that whole sense of of uh, of of coming back to the self, to owning yourself, to being. Uh, centered in this is really what we're talking about here is to recognize that we're all the same and also we're all different but we all, and, and in relationship all these people have a mind they're going through the same stuff they're being controlled by the same thoughts that you are some people act on those thoughts other people's don't and then people, then they're listening, and I notice that my my mind is a machine. It 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 records. So if I listen to any kind of singing, so immediately my mind memorizes this thing, and it repeats back to me. And I'm having to hear Jim Croce saying, uh, "Working at the car wash blues over and over and over," because I liked his music, you know, because I like to dance. But anyway, but it's not just the dancing. Then I gotta go along with the car wash. I don't be working at a car wash, so what am I singing about that for? So, it it's you know you start asking yourself and why am I doing these things, and realize why are people because they all have the same mind. We don't have a different mind. There's not a new invention where everybody's mind is different. It's the same vintage. It's the same year. It's the same. And maybe it just gets upgraded somewhere with a little guy, you know, with a little machine going dee, 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 and everybody's mind goes click, 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 and you got another one. But that does not happen to yourself. This is why you need to know the other part. Remember, two parts. Is the part that, of the truth of who you are, the self. And as the self, that self never changes. You're constant. Doesn't mean you don't expand and realize and open up and allow yourself to really surrender into the the love and the protection and maintenance of the divine. And that's my work. And that's really the most important thing there is. Important work there is in this world is this world. That's all there is. It's important. And as you do that and you invest in yourself, whatever that takes for you to attain all that you are capable of attaining and being. That has nothing to do with what the world says or any way like that. And it may be appear that way, but that isn't the purpose of it. The purpose of it is in the fulfilling of whatever you feel called to do that is expressing through you from the divine and, and, to, and the work that you're doing and who you are. So there's the, everybody's got the mind, so you know that's what's going. And then, so how can you be angry and 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 you can avoid these people like that? But this is what they're going to do. The mind when it and and then they have basic stories. They go over the same ones all the time, so they're very predictable. And then everybody knows what they're because they're very predictable. You don't need to be predictable because because in who you are, you're unpredictable because you have not a. You're not operating by a program. That's what you want. Breathe into your heart. I want to invite you. I'd love to do work with you over the phone. You work that out. You can email me. Let me know. When you come to retreats or to be on my mailing list. I, I know I need to work out those things. I'm not real good on it at this point because I so love the research and being so in the, the joy of my being and writing and, and doing these videos and Michael I want to thank you Michael such just a wonderful person and and does all of the the filming and the directing and the editing and, and all very loving you know my work is there to support you as well and and all the people then that have that help us financially or with their resources or they're just with your love and then share this these teachings with others if they're working for you don't hold them on to yourself let that be out there and get more and more people have friends gather come together and you can use these as studies and work these and it's not about believing what i'm saying but these are these are tools for you to use to uh to to take yourself back to to remember who you are 
to be living a real, authentic experience forever and eternally because it's who you are. And this is the only way you could do is now and how important this is and not about defending and promoting some philosophy, some teaching, some religion, some nationality, some all that because there's so many people they'll do that. You know, they'll say, well, we're, we're better than these others, and they're not as good as we are, and we're all this. And that's, that's, mind, that's all the mind. That has nothing to do with us at all. And it has nothing to do with you as a spirit soul. And the, the, this, so this is what this is about, is the, the cleansing, the, the rehabilitation, the, the uh, active reactivation and remembrance and expression of who you and I and all of us really are. And we each do that right now where we are in every encounter with every person that we're with, every situation, uh, but how you deal with people, where you are, where are you coming from? You'll know, is it your head, is it here? And, and you, you go, well, it doesn't make sense because it, 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 I, I would give this to somebody. And in my head, my dad said, don't ever do that. Well, you know what? This isn't about your dad. No. This is about your eternal existence, my dear friend. This is about your eternal existence, and it's now. And now is the most important moment there's ever been, ever. Be here, and be you.